Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video, we're going to work on filling out the Sun Rotation Manager function. Now, first things first, let's come up to the top of the script and we need to create a couple of variables. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to put mine here below the day length and the day phase start times you of course can put them anywhere you want we'll make these of type public to begin with as always but these can be changed to private later and they can be of type float and the first one will say underscore day temp we'll close the line off into the comments and we'll just say create variable for day temp. The next one, public float again, and this time we'll say rotation temp. I'm just going to put rot temp, just as a little bit of shorthand. And the comment pretty much going to be similar so create variable for rotation temp and now we'll work down to the void update yes we have the sun rotation manager being called there so that's fine let's come all the way down to the sun rotation manager function so we're going to create a series of if blocks so if open and close brackets we'll come inside the brackets we'll say spring double equals true no need to close the line off this time into the comments if spring equals true we'll come to the next line then what we're going to do is we're going to make the day temp variable we've just created it's going to be equal to the spring day length and we're just going to divide by 10 we'll close the line off and into the comments we'll say then day temp equals spring day length divided by 10 now for all these values we're going to use in this function we may have to do some updating later but let's just get something in place first that works to a certain level of accuracy and then we'll do the minor tweaking to get perfect in the coming lessons so let's just copy that if block and we'll paste it in three times and I'm sure you've guessed what we're going to do we're going to say if summer equals true we'll tidy up and we'll change the comments as we go as we always do so next one if autumn equals true and if winter and in the comment as well and we need to change this variable to summer and we want summer day length again in the comments we'll change it as well so autumn day length and finally for winter as well and then we're going to come here and what we're going to do is say the the rotation temp so underscore rot temp and that's going to be equal 
Now I'll put this in brackets actually. So we'll open and close brackets, we'll close the line off and then we'll come inside brackets and it's going to be equal to what is now the day temp. So this four blocks of code here will define the day temp value. Then we take that value and we say rot temp is equal to it and we want divided by 5 40 and I'll explain why as we put in the comment so let's have a look so we'll say rotation temp equals the day temp and we're going to say divided by and I'm going to open and close brackets I'm going to put degrees on the end. Now we'll come inside the brackets in the comments. And what we're going to do is say 360 plus 180. That's what this value is. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have the sun move 180 degrees during the day length. So from here to here. And... I'm not too really worried about what the sun's doing during night time when it's below the scene because it won't make a difference in game anyway. And what we'll do is when it gets to dawn we'll make sure it resets to its dawn position. So we normally want to move 360 degrees that's how we normally count it but because we only want 180 if we add them both together we get this value and we get something that's approximate to a 180 degrees again it's not perfect and we will do all little minor tweaks but at least this will get the rotation up and running and hopefully you can see it all works works well with just a little minor tweaking to be needed so with that said we're going to say transform dot and we're going to say rotate around and we're going to open and close brackets we're going to close the line off and as I said there is a sun rotation on the unify wiki that uses a similar way of doing it using the transform dot rotate around but we've added a lot more code here to our script and we're going to make some minor adjustments such as we've already done added code here to um, actually position the rotation via script the right rotation pivot and um, we're also setting the values we wanted to start at so well actually that's some position we've still got to do the rotate around I think let's have a look now we've got the rotation pivot here where we actually set it in the void start so this again is code that we've added so with that said let's come inside these brackets now and we're going to say underscore sun and we want the pivot point dot position we're going to comma and we're going to say a vector 3 dot forward comma by the rotation temp times time dot delta time and now what we'll do in order to explain how this is going to work we'll break it down into sections so straight after the open brackets and after every comma we'll enter there and we'll get it into the comments so we'll say rotate around in fact we can say rotate sun around let's come to the 
next line and we're going to say the pivot point which we're using as an axis so we'll put that in the comments and let's come to the next line into the comments again so we're going to say shorthand for writing and we're going to say a vector 3 see if I can get rid of that box there right there we go shorthand for writing vector 3 0 comma 0 comma 1 and it's that point so if you don't fully understand that as always I recommend um, reading up on the Unify wiki how this works but we have the point position we're moving by the rotation temp so let's put this in we'll say by um, we'll say yeah let's put it in full rotation temp and we're going to say times and we just say time dot delta time and we've gone over what time dot delta time is a number of times already so it's just a synchronization method so we're moving it pretty much just by rotation temp you can just put that if you like if you don't want to put all this in the comments but uh, just remember to leave the code here and let's save that off so let's have a look I think we are ready for testing now so let's come let's wait for it to compile and we'll hit play now because I have a true 24 hour clock actually for my day night cycle it's actually going to move really slow but as long as it is moving that's what we want to see so let's keep an eye on this value here and let's hit play and as you can see the X reset as it should do and if I can just free the mouse cursor as you can see this value is creeping up now it's creeping up slowly as I said but it wants to creep up slowly because I have a very slow clock and again you may have to make adjustments depending on how you've set your script up as I said I wanted a true clock counted up in real time not going super fast so obviously my rotation is going to be slow and you can see it's actually moving around the Y position here as well which is exactly what we want so let's stop that there and I think we'll leave it here for this video now as I said lots to do still lots of tweaking there's actually a lot of optimization we can do to this script and of course if you want to see any further features added to the script please let me know but um, we'll leave it here for now and I shall see you next time so until then as always I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now